Okay, call us the quick log. 2.18 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Still Friday the 13th, January 2023. Log report. What's going on? Long diatribe, but the thing it wasn't a diatribe. It was a long monologue, as usual. But this, I had to get off my damn chest. You know, I had to write a letter to to whoever and probably send a link over to whoever. As soon as I get these damn things printed out. Shit, I gotta get these glasses cleaned again. Fuck. I just got these damn things, and now they're dirtier and shit. I can still see once they're clean, but when they're not, they're pain in the ass. I'm grateful I've got them, though. But I'll tell you something, I was getting my ass fucking kicked. Getting my ass kicked this week again. I mean, already I was kicking my ass because I had to miss school and just... I'm pissing and vinegaring at this point over here. I mean, it should have been Monday. I should have been back at, at campus. And, you know, I'm still tearing myself apart over the damn shit. But it's like dealing with the same decision I made during the fall. It was the same damn decision I made at the fall. Except during the fall, I was still crying and I, my eyeballs out were going crazy at this point over here. I hadn't gotten to that point just yet. I was more worried about my mother at this point. My little dog, you know, little mamas, I've shown her. A lot of times in different videos at this point. But I didn't want her to, to get hurt. The guy's coming over here from Ark and trying to deal with this freaking bug war I got going on still. Pissing me off left and right on this. Their chemicals will last maybe about three or four hours. And if I was going to school, I'd have to trap her up in the bedroom. And I wouldn't even know how the hell she'd be able to deal with it. I mean, it's one thing for me to stay out of here for a short time and having her sleep one area and another, another area maybe she would have been okay but I didn't trust the RK I, I still don't trust him until I get this fucking bug war handled and my own damn self handled I had a hard enough time when I came back from COVID just to get back to the campus and about 16 weeks later I felt like a damn broken piece of crap but I managed to pass the class, but I managed to still feel like a damn broken piece of crap because I couldn't feel the campus like I normally would. Going to campus, you feel like you, you owned a place. This was home. Now it's not. It's an alien place. It's got the physical changes happening at this point, but there's a hell of a lot of changes happening in that place that I couldn't feel it again. It's like the separation here. I could deal with online classes with the teachers and have lectures, no problem like that. And I prefer in-person if I could. Otherwise, I'd deal and struggle with it online. That's fine. Convenience and keeps me trapped here at home. But I'll tell you something. Me making the decision of not going back to campus is fucking driving me nuts. Completely. Just absolutely nuts. I want to go back. I want to go back. I had the books ready to go. I had the notebooks. I myself was physically ready for it. I was going to get myself on a damn bus. Head over there. Walk on the campus in a long while. And try to get the atmosphere. Try to feel it again. To see if I was still home. I was even contemplating of doing another video series. I had screwed up the first time, so maybe I'd get it the second time getting over there. You know, coming right after COVID, and you get over there, and this is what you're going to be dealing with. <laughs> Give me a damn hammer. Just, just, <sighs> whop. That's what I felt like Monday. On the ninth. Oh my god, I was tearing myself apart. Even after the guys left and knew we were going to be doing the heavy duty spring and this coming Tuesday, and I still got to make arrangements for that. I still got to call them. I'll talk to them about this. My friends. But no, what was driving me crazy at this point over here is taking the time off to deal with these guys that I should have been on campus about it because I wasn't quite sure about the damn meds that they're going to be using on the roaches if it was going to be affecting my dog in any way, shape, or form. I would have to trap her in my damn bedroom. 
with water and food in there. All alone for the next four or five hours. That's the time for me getting down to the campus, getting through the class, waiting for the next bus to get my ass home. It takes me about an hour, an hour and a half to get to the nearest bus stop I can. Oh, about an hour and a half. Almost to getting over from here to Albertsons on the on Eagle Way and Rose, uh, Rosamond by Taco Bell. They got the bus stop over there. And on 20th and on Center, I think, they're right by Hummel Hall Community Center. And that's where the other bus stop is in Rosemont. The last stop before they take you over to Lancaster. That way, Lancaster. <sighs> Could have walked it. Should have walked it. Had a hell of a lot of fear in this damn shit. Had a hell of a lot of fear, I just said. It was driving me nuts. It was really freaking driving me nuts. And I had to make that decision and still beat the shit out of myself for this damn thing. I wanted to go back! I couldn't. Because I had to make sure she was alright. And I'm not blaming her. Because she's still my responsibility. She is my dog. She's my world. She's the last family member I have in my immediate family. If it was my brother still alive, he would have told me, John, just go already. Well, you yeah, I'll be fine. She can't tell me that. I have to take care of her. <sighs> she's up already. And I'm going to have to lay down myself. Oh, she's going to drive me crazy. Oh, good Lord, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. Here comes that troublemaker. Oh, she's got to hunt around for something on the ground. She doesn't. There's that troublemaker. You... You, come here. Come here. Oh, get over here. Oh, you silly dog. <sighs> the mamas. Um, I'm going to lay down for a little bit, all right? Oh, come on. I need to lay down, all right? Yeah, well, I need to lay down, all right? You're just fussing the fuss, you know? You're just fussing the fuss. Go say hi to the camera. There, mamas, say hi to the camera. Okay, you said hi. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good lord, she wants to go out again. Looks like I gotta cut this damn thing short. All right, mamas, all right, give me a minute, will you? Fuss budget. The life of a dog and me.